Welcome to Physio Yoga Online. This time we're back in Bruges and we're happy to see that the garden is kind of exploding with new life. While I was in the hub, I uploaded the videos of the lower leg and the foot to the Physio Yoga subscription channel. So you can have a look there and also on my website to see which are the videos and what subjects I have been covering. This week I want to cover an exercise to uh, help people who have pain on the inside of the knee. Usually um, with problems of the knee the inside of the leg is too, uh, too strong while the outside of the leg is way too weak. So that is pulling the knee slightly inward and elongating all the tissues that are on the inside of the knee and compressing the ones that are on the outside of the knee. So it's good to strengthen the outside of the leg and open, open the joint on this side so that the knee becomes more aligned with the ankle and the hip. And it's a very easy, simple exercise that you can do to re-establish this balance in the knee. And it goes as follows. Uh, by the way, you don't need to have a cat on your foot, but it works better when you have one. So you're going to um, keep a position with the feet hip width apart. The knees should not be hyperextended. When you have knee pain, it's never a good idea to do that because it will always um, exaggerate the, the imbalance which is there. So your knees, you don't want to push them back. You just want to have them flexed a little bit and during the exercise we're going to bend them slightly slightly more just like this so to way, the way to go at it your feet are hip width apart the toes are straight forward this might feel as if your heels are slightly outward huh? i always say to my clients it's the opposite of the feeling of charlie chaplin so your heels go a little bit outward you're going to start with lifting and spreading of the toes. So you try to lift and spread the toes as wide and high as possible while keeping the whole foot and the base of the foot on the ground. So you're not going to lift the inside nor the outside of the foot. You stay on the ground. It's only the toes that are spreading and lifting. Huh? While you do that, you keep the knees slightly bent and then while you keep the ball of the foot especially the ball of the foot at the side of the big big toe uh, down on the floor you're going to push the knees outward uh, in that way you will be activating the outside of the lower leg and the upper leg while you do that you can have a little bit more intense contraction by lifting the little toe as much as possible keeping the ball of the foot on the side of the big toe down keeping pushing the knees out okay okay of course this is um, a bit a bit difficult because it's you're moving in two directions at the same time while you're keeping the inside of the foot really down yeah, if you do that and you exaggerate it you're going to lift the outside of the of the foot and you see my knees are coming inward so we don't want this to happen but if i push the knees outwardly and i don't do anything with the feet the inside of the inside of my feet is lifting and again nothing is happening there's no strengthening and shortening of the outside muscles of the lower leg so it's normal that it feels a little bit awkward again you have your feet hip width apart the toes straight forward heels slightly outward you lift and spread the toes but you keep the whole sole of the foot as much as possible on the floor, the weight evenly divided on the inside and outside of the feet. You bend the knees just a little bit, and then you push the knees slightly outward. You can even twist the heels a little bit outside also, which will help to engage the uh, muscles on the outside of the hip. Huh? And you keep lifting the little toe as much as possible so you lift all the toes but you have an accent of contraction in the little toe while keeping the knees open it's good to do this exercise quite often as it this will also reprogram your body uh, on a neurological level so that you learn 
how to reposition your knees and your ankles in a better way so that you're not hurting the inside of the leg that much. If you're in a lot of pain, there's uh, still other exercises that you can do and I will add those exercises to the subscription channel uh, in the coming months. If you have any more questions, please ask them. You can do that on the Physio Yoga page or you can send me an email. Let me know how you're doing and I hope to see you again next week. Bye.